Yo, 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 it's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor of Alonzo Hall, and I've returned today with another ADH wealth solution. Today, we'll begin to discuss fulfilling all of your financial needs. To contribute to channel growth, the links are in the description. To schedule an appointment of your own, or to purchase life insurance directly up to $1 million with no medical exam and an instant decision, my information is in the description. Lastly, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. And now, here's our next feature. Yo, 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 it's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor, Alonzo Hall, and I've returned today to whap and tap on your head with another ADH Wealth Solution. Today, we're going to be looking at an article from Ben Laboyevich, 20 Ways to Buy an Investment Property with $2,000 or Less. So, I'm going to read a little bit of the introduction, and I'm going to read... Uh, a few of the rules that pertain to stuff I talk about, one mainly being a self-directed IRA real estate, as well as picking up uh, property through other uh, retirement and investment accounts. But let's take a look. Now, before we go in, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth, to purchase life insurance directly up to $1 million with an instant decision and no medical exam, or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a licensed professional, the links are in the description. So let's take a look at the introduction here. The general consensus among real estate investors is that the biggest hurdle to overcome in this business is money. There's never enough of it. Whether you're a newbie with nothing on your balance sheet or an experienced operator with an extensive portfolio of assets, we can all do more and go faster with more capital. So the practical implication of this reality is reflected in the following question. How many deals could you do if you had to write a check for 25k each and every time you brought a prop bought a property for 100k? I bet many of you answered zero. Did you? But even if you are someone with a stable, high paying job, a 401k, a big home, two beamers in the garage, a brokerage account, and savings in the bank, writing $25,000 checks gets old after a while. Well, the reality of conventional lending is that financing of rental property would necessarily require you to make a 25% down payment which on a $100,000 acquisition means writing a check for 25 k It's certainly better than paying the entire 100 k cash outright, but it might as well be that for most of you. So this is it. No excuses. I'm going to teach you 20 ways to buy your first investment property with $2,000 or less, regardless of how much money you make or don't make, whether you own a home or rent. Whether you have the money in the bank or not, whether you have a 401k or not, I promise you'll find something in this ebook that will work for you. So <clears throat> let me go on to the few rules that I'm going to read. But before that, there is a disclaimer. Not every idea and technique in this ebook is going to work equally well or even be equally accessible to everyone reading. Naturally, those who, further, who are further along in their financial lives will discover that they have more options and find that more techniques discussed in this ebook are accessible for them. However, while those of you without any assets to back you up are certainly going to need to work harder, you will find that you still have a lot of options if you're willing to educate yourself. Okay, so we're going to take a look at rules or uh, ways 15, 16, and 17. <clears throat> so let's take a look at number 15. 
owner down payment with a conventional loan. So this is a bit more difficult to do nowadays than a few years back, but it can be done. The essence of what is being done here is 100% financing of property with the owner financing the down payment. And banks don't really like that at the moment. It is possible, however. The deal, which is a candidate for this, will need to be an above average opportunity. By and large, banks want to see a debt service credit ratio of at least 1.2. You'll need to do better at least 1.4 to 1.5. Fundamentally, your success in being able to facilitate this technique is a function of a strong relationship with the bank. So start working on it. Number 16, the 401k. So some investors with high, higher paying jobs and 401k retirement plans borrow against their 401k. Personally, I'm not a fan of 401k retirement accounts. They offer very little choice and the choice they do offer between mutual and other balanced funds. 401k was supposed to have been designed to help you not lose money. I'm not quite sure if the design worked. But due to the design features, which are supposed to limit exposure and risk, the best you can hope for now with a 401k is tracking the performance of the market at large. That's not good enough for me, and it's not good enough for many other investors. Is it good enough for you? If there's a way to tap some of the value in such an account via a loan or a line of credit, it may be worth considering. The next is number 17. Number 17 is a self-directed IRA real estate. If you choose to utilize a retirement account for your real estate investing, a more effective way may be through a self-directed IRA real estate. This is still not a widely known or used investment vehicle, and there are only a few custodians licensed to service this. But a truly self-directed account can be directed by you to invest in anything at all, including real estate. When utilizing a self-directed IRA real estate or other investment, but self-directed IRA real estate, the investment can never go through you as this would be considered self-dealing by the IRS and a host of other rules and regulations apply. Furthermore, you are unlikely to be able to convert your current employer's 401k to a self-directed IRA real estate. However, a 401k from a previous employer is a prime candidate. While he does not specialize in these, they can be a powerful vehicle for real estate investors. The paperwork, however, must be done correctly. And the types of deals you choose do have to be picked carefully. You don't want to lose your retirement capital. I'll be happy to point you in the right direction for additional research if you contact me. So ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. And again, this is an article from Ben Laboyevich from Y.com. But if you want to learn more about a self-directed IRA real estate, I'm pretty well versed in them myself. So make sure you check the link in the description, schedule a one-on-one consult, and we can go ahead and get into that discussion a little bit further. That's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth, to purchase life insurance directly up to $1 million with an instant decision and no medical exam, or to schedule a one-on-one appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description. With that being said, wipe ass. Work in progress every day and see success. Salute, salute, salute. Hey folks. This last video was sponsored by my company, where we help people like you to reach their financial goals. We do this through a simple conversation where we help to identify and then protect your lifestyle. And then we implement a plan. The process starts at about an hour. So if you want more information or you want to schedule a consult, contact me via the information in the description box. And Let's talk and see if we're actually a great fit for each other. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, when people challenge you, they don't challenge you to challenge you, but they challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Thank you. 
and enjoy life.